Hey, hi. Um, I thought I would do a quick haul video because I haven't been able to do a video in so long and you've been doing one for me every night. So uh, I figured I would do one for you today, even though I think you've seen every single thing that I'm going to show. I thought why not do just a quick haul video and test out the lighting in here, the tripod, the angle, all that good stuff. So to test that out, I thought I'd do a haul on what I got with my Ulta points, my disgusting, embarrassing amount of Ulta points. This month I got my Ulta Rewards Flyer and I got 21 points to redeem. Don't do the math, it's embarrassing. But I had 21 points. So um, I went to Ulta with my friend Sam, who's probably the only person watching this, and redeemed my points on Saturday. And what I ended up getting was, first, this amazing blow dryer. I love this thing. I love polka dots. I love this blow dryer. I am all about it. I used it today when I got out of the shower. I didn't do a full style, so my hair is kind of a mess, but um, I just dried it and did a little round brushing, but uh, I think I'm gonna love it. It's got the ionic stuff, so it makes my hair shiny, and it's hot tools. I love it. That used, uh, that was $40 blow dryer, $39.99, so I used two of my five point rewards, so that took up 10. Uh, the next thing I got was a fragrance using six of my reward points for any fragrance up to $40. And I got, hope you can see that, it is the uh, Marc Jacobs Honey Scent. And I absolutely love this scent. I would have liked to have been able to get a bigger bottle, but maybe for Christmas. Oh, this stuff just smells amazing. And the bottle is really cute with its little honeybee on it. Oh, I love it. Anyway, Marc Jacobs, honey. I got that. Um, so that used up 16 of my points, which left me with five. So I got little one point items. Um, what did I get? I got some Ulta nail polishes. I got the, this color is called the Skinny. And it's a beautiful uh, dark navy blue, really gorgeous. Then I got green and wear it. This is um, kind of a dark, not really foresty green. It's kind of a cross between a dark forest green and a dark teal because um, it's got kind of a bluish tint to it, but I love it. And then the third one I got was it's let's see what's it called fashionista and this is just a uh, dark purple burgundy kind of color so really those three very jewel toned um, I like them quite a bit and then what was the other I had to get two more things and I have no idea what oh I know what one of them was a lipstick Let's see, that was three, this would be four. One of them was a lipstick, this is a NYX. And that's the color. If, let's see, number 509, I believe it was called, gosh, I don't think it has the uh, name, oh, Narcissus, I'm sorry, it does have the name. It's uh, Narcissus. And like I told uh, Sam, when I opened it, it was broken and some of it had melted off into the cap. I don't know if you can see it, but um, there's a bunch of the lipstick that's in the cap. The color is a little bit, it reminds me of like a little girl playing Barbie, like the kind of lipstick that you would give to a four-year-old really. Um, so it's not really all that pretty. I may try uh, to figure out a way to use it, but overall, mm, yeah, not so great. But uh, anyway, those were four, and I can't even remember what the fifth thing was that I got. I got four lip colors and a NYX, and I don't even remember what else I got. Isn't that sad? Okay, anyway, that was what I got with my Ulta points. And then while we were there, we also picked up the five for five gifts. Um, they had little stocking stuffers and I thought they were so cute. I got this uh, nail clipper 
and it's a little woman. She's very sweet, very pretty, um, very glamorous. Pearls around her neck. I thought that was cute. And then I got the uh, tweezers that I thought were really cute. Um, and then the back is the back of the woman, which is really cute. And I also got two more nail polishes because apparently that was uh, <laughs> the big thing they were giving away or that they were doing their promos on. This is just a gold sparkle. Just your standard gold sparkle. What's the name? High Roller. Thought it would be cute to use for like an accent nail if I did all solid color and then maybe my ring fingers in that gold. I thought it would be pretty. And then I also got... This is mint condition, and I really like this color. Um, this was one of the five for fives as well, and I really, really do like it. Um, I think it will be really pretty with another polish that I got over it when we went to Sephora. Um, and then that's four, and then the fifth item I got was this lotion. It's called Plum uh, Tastic or something like that. Anyway, it's a plum scented hand lotion, and I really, oh, Pleasant Plum. I really do like this. It's not the least bit greasy. It absorbs really, really well. I just used it today and my hands feel very soft. Um, it's actually a really nice lotion. I would recommend it. The five for five, I wish I'd known. I would have gotten a couple of those. Anyway, um, we also bought uh, Ulta Cosmetics, had the coupon on the back of the flyer that if you spent $6 or more on Ulta Cosmetics, you got a free gift. So uh, I bought a couple of blushes. The first one is called Infatuation. It's kind of a um, pinky color. Let's see if I can swatch it where you can see it. Um, it's very pretty. I think it's a really nice color. Um, very petal pink, and I really like petal pink. And then I got another blush called Fame. And this is more my typical uh, bronzy color, kind of a brownish pink um, I don't know if you can see it, but um, that's more up my alley of what I usually wear. Let me get a tissue. Take that off. Okay, um, that was what I got at Ulta, and I think that's all that I got at Ulta. Oh, wait, no, I take it back because I did get one more thing at Ulta. <laughs> How can I forget? Because I am madly, madly in love with this item. Um, I have an affection for it that borders on uh, unreasonable and scary. I got one of the uh, Real Techniques brushes, the Sam Chapman uh, Pixie Woo brushes, and this is the blush brush. I don't know if you can see right there where it says blush brush, but it's tapered. It is so soft. It's kind of an egg shape. It is absolutely amazing. And I spent all day <laughs> on Sunday when I got home brushing my face with this brush because it felt like I was giving myself a little face massage. I could not love this brush more. Um, I think this brush is my new boyfriend. So anyway, love this brush. Now, that was the end of what I got at Ulta. Okay, the bad part of what happened when we went to Ulta was I bought all the stuff. I got, I redeemed my points. We bought the five for five. The little gal at the register was working fast and furious making this, uh, those points work and my coupons work. And she did a great job. She was just lovely. But she forgot to put one of my bags of items into the bigger bag that had my blow dryer in it. So when I got home on Saturday evening, I discovered that I was missing um, not any of the items that I had redeemed for my 21 points, but all the other items that I had actually paid for. So I ended up having to go back, and that was geez, um, a very long drive. Let's say it was about an hour uh, drive to get back to Ulta in Tempe Marketplace on Sunday. They were also doing the Iron Man. Oh, I'm parched. Hang on. Mm -mm 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 -mm. My soda. Oh, I'm so parched. Um, they were doing the Iron Man, and I really thought I was going to have trouble getting through traffic. But as it turned out, I really didn't. It was a straight shot, and the manager of the store when I got there was extremely nice. Um, very apologetic about um, missing the bag, and very sorry that I had had to drive all the way out. And as a sorry for your inconvenience, she actually gave... 
okay, I have no idea what happened, but I think my camera shut off in the middle of me recording. Um, and I don't know where it left off, so I could have crossed my fingers that I didn't miss out on any of my items. Um, and I'll just start with the things that I got at Sephora on Sunday after my trip over to Ulta. Uh, okay, so at Sephora I picked up two items from Julep. One of them was the Mighty Cuticle uh, Nail and Cuticle Serum. It's in this really lovely silver container. I absolutely adore it. It's a brush, um, an actual brush and not a felt tip. It's just a serum. You twist it, you hear the click, it brings the product out, and you just paint it across your cuticles. And it's supposed to help uh, promote healthy nail growth and healthy cuticles. And the instructions say to use it twice a day for two weeks and then once a week for maintenance after that. I've been using it for a few days now and I really do like it. I'm shedding hair all over the place. Um, hopefully it helps with my nails and maybe helps uh, with my nails keeping polish on them. The other julep item I got was the Freedom Polymer Top Coat. And um, I heard about this on another YouTube uh, vlog, I Love Faces. And she and her daughter were doing, uh, I believe it was on the video that her and her daughter did. Anyway, they were talking about this Julep Freedom Polymer over the top coat and how it was a lot like uh, nail gels and it dried really fast and came off with regular nail polish. So I decided to give it a go. Um, I've used it once and I really, really like it. I don't have any polish on today. That's another issue, but uh, it dried very quickly. It may took out any brush strokes or brush streaks that I had in my nails. It really uh, brightened the polish up, made it a little bit more true to color. I put it over a, a dark purple OPI polish that I use and it was beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Highly recommend this. Uh, then I also got one of the new X formula uh, polishes by Sephora. I believe they've redone all their nail polishes. And this is called uh, Chaotic. And, oops, there we go. It's kind of a black and white. Uh, it looks, it reminds me of paint splatter. It's like Jackson Pollocking up your fingernails. So I'm anxious to try this. I haven't done it yet, but I'll let you know what I think when I try it. Okay, now the last two items that I want to show you. Oh my God, these were so beautiful. I went to Sephora specifically for this. And they are the Hourglass Ambient uh, ambient Lighting Powders. I was hoping to get the palette of the three, but they were sold out and let me know that they wouldn't be getting those back. So um, I looked at what they had in stock for the other ones, the full-size ones, and picked out two that I thought that I would really like. Um, the first one being Luminous. This is... Um, I'm sorry, I take that. Yeah, Luminous Light. This is the Ambient Luminous Light. The packaging is beautiful. It's a bronze color. I absolutely adore it. The powder itself is absolutely gorgeous. Now, the packaging says that the uh, Luminous Light is supposed to be like incandescent candlelit glow. So it's a champagne pearl. Um, the other powder that I got, or the other one that I got, is called uh, Diffused Light, and this is also absolutely gorgeous. It has a little bit of a yellow tint, which I like because it should uh, remove some of the redness from my skin, and as you can see, I have no makeup on right now, and I have a lot of redness in my skin. Um, both of these are so finely milled. They're so, so soft. Um, I would swatch, but you're not really going to see it on my skin. So let me put this one on my finger. This is the diffused light. I'm sure you've seen these a million times because everybody on YouTube seems to be raving about these. And this is the uh, luminous light is on my uh, index finger. So you can see the two are a little bit different. Um, I can't wait to try them. They seem just absolutely almost like corn uh, cornstarch to me a little bit but they have just a little bit of shimmer not glitter but I'm hoping that they're going to work the way I think they do to brighten up my complexion after I'm finished with my makeup so that is my haul that's everything I got uh, 
I hope that I can do another video soon just doing makeup application or something or maybe another haul or some swatches because I have gotten some new MAC singles since the last time I did a swatch update on my blog. Um, and I would love to do the uh, favorite palettes tag. I think that would be a lot of fun. So hopefully I can do that soon. Um, and in the meantime, thanks for watching. Um, I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye. How did my mammy mammy? Poor sleepy little puppy. How you doing, my girl? Aw. We've had a long, long day, huh? Aw. Sleepy girl. <laughs>